Welcome back, this is the Jack. Today we got Dungeon Escape. This is a uh, challenging 2D platformer available on Steam for $4.49 Canadian. And uh, it's probably like $3.50, $4 American, I'm guessing. How on earth can we double jump? Oh, we can double jump. Okay, this changes everything. Everything has changed at this very moment. Look at these jumps. Uh, so it's uh, got great chiptune soundtrack according to the um, the store page. And so far, I'm I think I'm inclined to agree with that. It's uh, it's it's definitely a chiptune soundtrack, at the very least. I'm a big fan of chip tunes personally. I'm a big fan of 2D platformers, so to put them both into one thing is, I mean, it's it's a classic, but nevertheless quite enjoyable for me personally. There we go. So the game feels honestly like pretty good. How on earth? Oh, you can jump on him. <laughs> I thought that I thought that it was just like a puzzler thing, you know. But it's uh, it is in true platformer spirit. You can jump on them, or get destroyed by them. Yes, destruction is of course a, a thing that is possible. That much I knew. So the chiptunes, yeah, I'm into it. I don't know how well you guys can hear it. I'll, uh, I'll try to, well, I can't actually. Sorry. This is, this is mine. Look, we're going to go for this stuff first because this is the hard stuff. And then we'll head back. Over, because I'm, I'm, I'm a collector in these games, okay? I will not continue until I have every single coin. I will not stop. I will not rest. Now, I'm not good enough to be a proper collector, but hey, you know? I mean, the game is simple. There, is, there isn't a whole lot of, of stuff to talk about here. It's, it's really what you see is what you get here. Ah! Oh. You die and you die. You jump and you jump. The, the, the controls feel, honestly, like these these deaths it feels snappy enough that I feel like I'm making the mistakes not the game just kinda not being very good you know cuz that that's what happens with a lot of platformers is uh, you end up dying a lot because the controls just feel kind of like glidey or not very snappy you know that's definitely not the case here although there is a little bit of a weird thing there I don't know what was going on with that but whatever I can forgive it yeah, it happens quite often where you have uh... you're gonna run right now you're gonna walk slowly towards me okay I don't know what the point of that one was uh, we get uh... You get stuck in a situation where you, you didn't feel like there was anything that you could do, you know? And that's that's obviously not something that you want in the platformer, but that's not what's uh, what's happening here for me. I feel like I have the control over the character, and uh, these mistakes are my mistakes. <laughs> these mistakes are, are, are my mistakes to live with. And that's always a good feeling in a, in a platformer. When your mistakes are your mistakes, not the game's mistakes. Okay, now we have to go and get the key. It's down here. Check that out. You see this master platform? We have to go all the way back over this, though. And then this one is, is no problem. I've mastered that saw. You shall not kill me, Mr. Saw! But the enemies... The enemies definitely... 
could kill me and have on many an occasion. Oh, I thought I was going to make that. Bunk. I was so confident. All right, here we go. We got everything we need. Yeah, we are free to continue onwards. I thought that was going all the way. Where are we even? Down here. Okay. Okay. I don't know if we get anything for killing all these guys. Let's uh, let's see if we get uh, points for jumping on boys. Uh, we died, but it did not appear that we got points for stomping on them. So 975 to 1025. We got 50 points. We got to stomp on all of these boys. It's it's unquestionable all of the boys must be murdered. Yeah, it feels good. It's uh it feels good and I'm I'm into the graphics. They're fairly simple, but simple is not always a bad thing, right? Simple simple can be a good thing at times. The chip tunes could be a little bit more I don't know. I think they're fine. But it is like a big selling point to this game. Like they sell the the chip tune track. Did I just I don't know why I even tried. I don't know why I even tried. Why did I why did I try that? Like they've got uh, the soundtrack for sale and like it seems like the game is more of a uh, an advertisement for their chiptune soundtrack than anything else. But um, the game is also rather enjoyable, I would say. Come on, come on! Look at that! I mastered this. This first section is just. Well, I was gonna say this first section has, is, has achieved mastery, but that's obviously not quite true yet, eh? Obviously, that was that was gonna be a lie. My goal is to beat one of these short platformers in a Yamjack tries one day, you know? Just to to completely annihilate. And oh, to die at the end there like that is just nothing feels worse than that. When you when you get to the end and you just get a little bit too overconfident and you fall and die. That one felt pretty good though. Why did I do that? Can somebody answer why I did that? Somebody tell me why I decided I had to jump at that point. Why would I? Why? Why? Why would you jump? Why jump? Okay, you got to get like a perfect, just like that, and then jump over here, jump back. We are not gonna make it. I don't know how we made it so perfectly that one time, but so maybe we were going a little bit slower, so we kind of came back. Come on, boy. I think what happened is uh, is this happened kind of thing. So by the time we got up there, he was uh, he was on his way back, and that's why we got to make that excellent move. Jump a little bit earlier, and oh come on, I'm getting a little bit arrogant on this stuff, you know. Got to just go back to the basics and take things one step at a time. All right, can't be making these mistakes. It's always so tempting when I, uh, oh, come on, when I'm doing the Amachak tries to try and just ramble about other things, but I want to talk about the game mostly, and then leave that kind of stuff for the KF2, but it's always, especially in a game like this, where I'm just, there's nothing to say, you know? <laughs> what am I, what am I supposed to, come on. I can only, I can only commentate this, this death to the, to the spike so many times. And I have to try and I have to try and make that that entertaining. We have to get to the next level so that so that stuff can change. But um, it's always it's always a a weird feeling when I'm playing these Yamajack tries to try and 
keep the commentary on on you know focused on the gameplay because with the uh, with the KF2 series it's the exact opposite and that's what I'm used to that's what my experience is in all right we're gonna get this boy we're gonna get this boy again someday I've had him once no I've had, I've had him twice right we've got him twice yeah the first time I jumped down the side like a like a big dummy and the second time I, I, I died to a spike but we're gonna get him okay I think I've, I think I understand how to make this work I, under, I understand how to make it work it's, it's been solved I have, I have solved it in my brain we just have to we have to put those actions into practice we have to actually make it work right now we just have the, uh, the theoretical we need to, to turn it into practice you wait for him to come over to the you wait for him to come over to the side and then you jump on him and you don't hit the spike look it's not a hard jump I mean it is but it, it shouldn't be I should be able to do this we should have made it past this we've been on this for like what three minutes now four minutes there we go okay now we return no how can I die there Disappointment to my family. Come on, come on, come on. We can make this this. Oh. Just save me. This is only level seven. You know their store page says challenging. I think. I think they weren't lying. At least for a person of my my ability, my uh, my my personal ability in these platformers and I think I'm I'm a decent platformer come on that's not how you do it but it felt pretty good felt good but it's, it's not I don't think that's the way you want to do it even though it did feel pretty good Okay, we just have to go over here and then jump on you. Grab this and head back. Okay, and then same thing here. Okay, jump on you and we have solved it. Look at the mastery. No. Oh. All right, this one, this one, I feel like it's not quite as hard. There's a lot more going on, but I feel like the, the, the pieces are easier to fit together. Okay, that one was just tunnel vision more than anything else. Yeah, you want to go this way and then go down there. And then pop that boy head over here. Okay. Yeah, this one, this one. Why did I double tap the jump? That was just I just I double tapped it on accident you don't you don't double tap it there you, you single tap it that's a single tap kind of environment and I I kinda I did a little bit of a double tap and that was the wrong thing to do so this one is uh, a lot easier than that last level for me anyway personally check it I'll probably want to go up this way so you've got a new a new boy here with the uh, the moving saws. The moving saws think they can scare me. They're totally right. Guess we're gonna have to get back up a little bit, but I think we can make the jump from here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now we have to now we have to climb. Climbing is easy. As long as you don't miss that jump. Now this is this is a bit of a tricky jump here. With the saw kind of looming over you, zooming back and forth. You gotta kind of get a little bit. Of, okay. Why did I? Why did I not double jump? Just ask ask yourself. Why did she not double jump there? Why did she think a single jump was good enough? I guarantee you, you will not find an answer because. I don't know why. I, I just single jumped. It's 
one of the mysteries that plague our species. Scientists will be questioning it for years to come. Why did she single jump there? What was she thinking? When the reality is, she wasn't thinking. Okay, I said that it feels good. That didn't feel so good. I'm not going to deny it. That one felt a little bit kind of bad. Come on. What? I don't even know how I died on that one. I thought I was. I thought I had tons of space. The the very precise jumps in between the, the things that feels bad. I will. I will. I will say that they could have made the the bounding boxes, the the hit boxes, a little bit better. And uh, they didn't, and that's definitely a problem in my uh, in my in my experience. But it's fine. It's fine. You know, I can maybe make this. Why did I think I could make that? Why am I doing it again? You know, it's the definition of insanity is trying the same thing and expecting different results, right? I believe is that no? I did it so well the first time, and now I just cannot do it. Single jump is good enough. Okay, you want to jump a little bit earlier? Not that early, you fool! Why are you so bad? Look, I've mastered this game. It might not seem like I've mastered this game, but I assure you, nobody is better at this game than I am. And I will be proving it right about now. Now, if we're talking like a speedrunning thing, no, 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 no. I can't, I can't go faster, but look, you want to you talk about speedrunners and think they're good at the game? Pfft. How many times a speedrunner has died in this game? Probably way more times than me. That's all I'm saying. I want I want a down animation. Look, it wouldn't be useful, but that's the one thing I ask for. Is I want to be able to crouch, even if, even if I can't do anything. Just because when when you're waiting for a saw to pass overhead, what you got to do is you got to mash the down button and crouch a whole bunch of times. It makes it feel like it's going faster, even if it practically does nothing at all. And I don't mean if, like, practically nothing, but I mean, like, literally does nothing practical. You know? Come on. Make it over. But I'd rather go for the saw jump again. Come on. We're gonna, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this level. Why did I, why, why, why? Why, why'd you do that, brain? Sometimes your brain just decides that this is a good idea. And it's not. And and you know it's not. Your every fiber of your being is like, no, 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 no. Brain, you're dumb. But your brain has, you know, the, the final say, and your brain's like, no, no, I think this is a good idea. I think I think I think this will work. I think I think we can do this. And then you do it and your brain's like, okay, you know what, you were right. I should have just I should've just listened to you. Yeah, you're not getting me. Don't don't think I didn't know there was a trap there. That's why I jump into to the things and then leave immediately. Because you never know what's going to fall on your head. Okay, we got we to gotta make this, this jump. It's a little bit of a tricky one. But we don't actually have to do it yet, right? Ah! That was a little bit iffy there. This is a bit of a strange jump, but I'm into it. Oh dear. How are we supposed to... Hmm. I believe that I can make this happen. Why did I jump into it? There's so many questions, you know that I have for myself. 
Why did you do it this way? Why did you do it that way? You know? Look at that. Frame perfect. Now we return. I have mastered this section. You cannot defeat me. I have not mastered that section. You can most certainly defeat me. We can we can do this though. Okay? You just have to believe. We did it so perfectly that one time. And now I just can't for the life of me repeat. Come on. Oh. Repeat that uh, that glorious moment. I don't know how I did it, but I did it and it felt so good. You cannot defeat me here. Okay, you jump when it's right there and then you jump over it and you're good to go. Okay, now I gotta go up here. You guys are like in line. I don't like that so much. I don't wait for you guys to get out of line. Yeah, like like this. And then just walk into you. Look, it's a perfect moment right here for me to kill him. They are perfectly out of line. We kill you ahead of time, okay? And then we go up here and we commit the murder of this boy. And then we go over here, we grab these coins. Come on, come on. You know what? Change of plans. Change of plans. We're gonna go up here first. Okay, and we got over here. We pop you like that. Just like that. Up here, we go back down. We jump across. We go down here. Okay, we grab these coins. We run across. Check this out. We grab you. Grab you. Safe to head up here. Okay, this is a. Uh, these are advanced level strats here. Gotta wait for the perfect moment, which is right now. Okay. Oh yes, there we go. Not even, <laughs> I was gonna say, not even a challenge. And then I died. To prove that maybe, perhaps, there's a slight hint of challenge involved. But, uh, <laughs> not much. Certainly not much challenge. Come on. Come on. We're going to beat this level. I promise you this. This level will be defeated and then that'll probably be the end of this episode. But oh, just don't just don't just jump into the spikes. That's that's silly. Okay, now we got to go over this way. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Now we go down here. We pounce on you. Oh my god. Why did I do the exact same thing? See, this part is easy. So this part right here. What? How do you even do that? I bet I'm the only person who's ever died on that side of the, the saw. The only person. Nobody has ever done that. Because who just jumps into the saw like that? Come on. Okay, so you grab this. You wait the one cycle. You can just run straight on down there. Wait the one cycle. Okay, so to, to, to what I was saying is you can run straight down there, wait the one cycle, and then pop up. Straight down. You can probably even make that in the one in the first cycle if you're good. You know what? It doesn't cost much time. 
let's, uh, let's, let's give it a try. These are speedrunner strats right here. I believe that you can do it. I want to do it once. I'm not going to try and do it every single time. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm not going to try and do it every single time, but like definitely a couple of times, right? You got to get you got to get that beautiful move a couple of times at least. Look at that. That's precision. Down, up, easy. Fall on your face. Okay. We're making some progress! It almost like isn't even harder to do it the fast way. Hey, now that I'm better. Oh my god. Oh my god! I promised you that we will come. <laughs> I have never seen me more tilted than I am right now. Like, ooh. You ever wanted to see somebody tilt? This is it. This is this is the definition of tilted. So let's just uh, calm it down a little bit, okay? We're gonna be fine. We're gonna grab these coins. We're gonna head over here. Oh my god, that's a difficult jump. That is a difficult jump. That is a very, very difficult jump. I don't even know how I'm supposed to do it just yet. I was, I was, I was seeing if I could maybe make it work anyway. The answer was definitely no. Make that one work. Let's go. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 We've made. And then you just you just jump into them. Is what you do. You just you just jump into them. Okay. What you do is you see the enemy. And instead of jumping onto him, you just jump straight into him. Okay? Your friends, go give him a hug. So this, this is no problem anymore. This is still a little bit of a problem. But you know what? I think I've mastered it. Okay? You can get hit! Oh, I didn't think I'd be able to get hit there. I thought it was safe. Oh, that one hurts. Because we had it. We had it. That one hurts me deep inside in the cerebral cortex. Okay. It's going to be up here. Bounce on you. Bounce on you! It's a very easy game. It's 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 a very 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 easy game. We're going to beat this level. I promise this to you. If it takes us another twenty minutes, then it takes us another twenty minutes. But this level shall not defeat me. Look at that! Look at that! The smoothness of it. Now you gotta time this one just right. No, that was. You gotta time it just right, and that was not what I did there. Without timing it right, it's, uh, it's no good. Okay. Like, this is... This is... Like, automatic. At this point. It's really this boy right here who's giving me any sort of trouble at all. Okay. So we gotta get across in one fell swoop! I stopped for a moment. I stopped for a moment. That's going to kill me. Come on. Make it? Yeah, we still made it. Got a little bit of time, so you have to wait for this boy. 
So there isn't really any point to going super fast, honestly. Other than just bragging rights. And bragging rights are pretty cool. Bragging rights are pretty sick, yo. That's why you gotta go as fast as you can. <laughs> What was I even doing there? What was I what was I even doing? Come on. Come come on. Come on. What are you what are you doing jumping into the spikes like that? Come on man, what are you doing? What are you doing? Who do you think you are? I can still make this. Uh sorry there's a bit of a blip in the matrix there. Um this is the run I was talking about. It was just a little bit of. This is the run I was talking about. This is. This is the run I was talking about. It's just a little bit of a, a glitch in the matrix. It's uh, it's fine. It happens to, to all of us. This is the run I was talking about. It's just a little bit of a glitch in the matrix. Come on, come on. We can we can do this, okay? I believe in me. I could I could have jumped on him there, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna let him live a little bit longer. Make him think he has a life to live, but he doesn't. Okay, so you go across here. Oh boy! <laughs> it stopped for a moment. And death awaited me. Okay, so we can jump onto that's not how you do that. That that's that's not how you do that. That felt wrong. Because it was wrong from the very moment. This stuff is still a little bit tricky. Honestly, me jumping up here like this, I don't even feel like it's really ruining my uh, my chances at this point. Like, that jump feels pretty fine. Okay, so you get up onto that. You jump on this boy. You jump across onto this boy. You jump onto this boy. I was I just stood there, and I just, I just waited for it to come and hit me. I just, I waited, I saw it coming, and I decided I'm not going to move. You know? I, I just, I saw the thing coming, and I, 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 I said to myself, yeah, this is fine. It's going to hit me, this is okay, this is my life. My life is death. My sole purpose in living is to die. I want a death count. Why don't I have a death count on screen somewhere? Developers, if you're watching this... Then I'm flattered, really, but to add a death count. It would, it would add wonders to your game. Okay, that's that's my uh, my one piece of feedback is just give me a death counter. I want I want to be able to show off that I can beat this game with zero deaths because that's where we're at right now. Actually, if you if you ignore all the times that I messed up, I actually haven't made any mistakes. Which is uh, which is impressive. Okay, you jump across. I didn't. I jumped a little bit too early there. Jumped. I jumped a little bit too early. Again, there I jumped a little bit too late. Different different part of the the world, but you know, same concept. Just don't mess up the jumps. Okay. So right onto here. Onto that boy, it didn't work. I'm pretty sure I I, I say that it contacted, but you know, I'm not the I'm not the game. I don't decide these things, even though sometimes I wish I did. Okay, okay, this is feeling good. This is feeling good. Those are gonna fall on me, hundred percent. Oh, look at that squeaky chair. Alright, yeah, yeah, oh, we gotta give it one try, see if we can perfect this, right? Like, come on, you gotta, you gotta give it to them at least once, I can't, uh, you can't just go when you, when you just finished a level, you gotta give it one try, right? Like, if we can perfect a few levels here in a row, like, come on, we'll go until, we die, there we go, we died, look. I jumped into it. It wasn't intentional. I was having a blast. Anyway, 
This is... What game is it? Dungeon Escape. It's available. Look, I have to check the Steam page because reasons. And um, welcome to Steam. I have to just play capture this. It's great. It's good. It's available for four forty nine on Steam, which is probably like four dollars or three fifty American or something like that. It's a challenging two D platform with simple graphics and a great or not and act, but and great chiptune soundtrack. Trying to get out of a dangerous dungeon full of enemies and traps. I can confirm that both of those things are true. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. This has been Dungeon Escape. It's been a blast. If you like platformers, you like mildly challenging platformers, then pick it up. It's a pretty fun game. It feels pretty good to play. And, uh, yeah, that's going to do it. So like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you need today, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. I have to hit the button or else it doesn't stop recording. I, I, I don't just say bye-bye, I have to actually...